Yo, what's up, guys? It's Better Welcome Back to Smooth. Today is Sheffield Wednesday versus Burton Albion. And um, again, I say this every week, but it's a big game for Wednesday. It's another must win. Um, we've got to keep up the pressure. Uh, the Plymouth game just ended against Exeter, and they managed to get a 1 0 away win at Exeter in that huge derby. And I mean, that's massive for them. That's going to give them loads of confidence, beating their local rivals. And also, you know, now they're two points ahead of us, back in first. We need a win to, um, you know, keep our chance of automatics alive because don't forget they have a game in hand on us as well. So the least we have to do is win pretty much and just hope that they slip up. It's not really in our hands. And um, yeah, we just got to hope as well that Ipswich um, today against Chartwin drops some kind of points um, to, to just give us some chance of automatics, but it's not looking too likely. Everyone around us is just playing really well, but we, we've just got to keep doing well. Hold on. Try and keep in there and just, you know, keep up the form like everyone else is doing. And hopefully someone else slips up. But, yeah, Burton today, we're again, we're not we're playing uh, not a great side. They lost 3-2 to Charlton in the last game, the 80th in the league. Um, they seem somewhat safe. They've got quite a few games in hand and uh, they're about five points clear. But I think that they might have a bit of, um, you know, belief and motivation to try and secure, you know, themselves in the one for next season um or they might already be fairly clear i don't know but it's, the, the season's definitely not over yet so they've definitely got something to play for so no matter what it's going to be a hard game today but um i'm going to go with a 2-1 wednesday win hopefully um i think we should win today and i really need us to win but yeah let's move on to the lineups and see how we line up against burton albion right then guys the lineups are as follows in goal we have got Cameron Dawson. Uh, we've got back three of Palmer, Flint, and Fainwo. Uh, we've got right wing back, we've got Adam Iron. Left wing back, we've got Johnson. Uh, we've got Bolks, Backinson, and Bannon in the midfield. And then Patterson and Gregory up front. So Backinson makes his way back into the uh, starting lineup. He didn't have too bad of a game against Accrington, so I'm hope hopeful that, um, you know, today he didn't play too badly. <laughs> uh, the rest of the team seems good. Patterson making his return to the starting lineup. That is a big plus. Glad to see that. On the bench, we've got Stockdale, Iorfa, Ehequa, also making his return for months and months. We haven't seen Ehequa since uh, 2022, really. But yeah, and Brown, Shipston, Deli Bashiru, and Smith. So it's a decent bench, actually. We've got Smith there. Deli Bashiru maybe is an option, and obviously Ehequa as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this team. Um, Hopefully we can go on and, you know, get three points today. Um, my only, you know, worry would be Backinson, but, I mean, he didn't play too badly against Sacrington. You know, hopefully this is the revival of Backinson. I usually hate on players that we have him and they turn pretty good. So, um, yeah, hopefully my initial reaction of him was wrong, but, I mean, I know a lot of people are going to be not very happy with that selection. But hopefully today, you know, the hours can be positive and we can get behind the boys and hopefully push them on to three points at the Pirelli Stadium. But anyway, let's head over to the Pirelli Stadium now and um, hopefully we can beat Burn. Come on Wednesday. Right then, guys, back from the Pirelli Stadium, and uh, 
yet again. What do I, what do I even need to say? It's not even, it's, we've not even just dropped points today. Like, I was this mad after the Oxford game when we drew 1-1. We've lost today. We've lost 3-2. I can't really put into words how I'm feeling at this point in time, as I'm sure many fans feel the same way, but <laughs> the drop-off is ridiculous. I cannot believe we have bottled this so hard, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't even, we can't even pinpoint it on when that's our bias being out at this point. It's just the team's just completely lost it. Um, and I feel like there's no hope really for the end of the season because I don't see Ipswich or Plymouth dropping any points now I mean Plymouth just played their hardest game they've got left which was Exeter and they won and now yeah and no, I think they should win nearly every game they got same with Ipswich they just completely decimated Charlton 6-0 you know Ipswich and Plymouth these are the teams that are going up they're way too good for this league they're ending the season really strong and uh, now we can't even beat Burn Albion uh, you know, who are only like what well, a few were, were like five points off the relegation zone before this game, and uh, yeah, we are playing like a relegation side. You know, we're losing to the likes of Forest Green, who are now actually relegated. Burn, uh, we're drawing to Cheltenham and Oxford. It's shambolic, really. Um, I mean, do I even need to talk about the game? We started off quite well, um, first 15 20 up until we conceded. Started okay, conceded, and then tactically threw it out the window. Don't know what Darren Moore and everyone else, you know, in in the squad is thinking really when we concede. I feel like everyone just, you know, throws it out the window like, oh well, looks like we've lost it, lads. Let's just hoof it long. Obviously, we get the goal back straight after, which was, you know, it wasn't. It was a good goal from Patterson, but like it wasn't really like anything special with the team. Like Burton just looked really extremely poor defensively I feel like we kind of just got lucky on that goal that they were completely out of position and um, obviously credits to Patterson for a good finish but yeah and then uh, and they score another and then they score another after that I mean what else do I need to say it was just horrendous and I can't believe these people get paid thousands and thousands of pounds a week because uh, I mean, a Sunday league team could have defended better in that first half. It was it was actually buffet. Uh, back in some, he's completely lost it in my books. I think if he starts another game, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to um, riot because that man just is stealing a wage, stealing a living at this club. Uh, he was like a ghost for 60 minutes. When he came off, everyone literally cheered because we were happy to see someone come in for him. You know. Uh, it was just, yeah. Obviously, we get the eight fifth minute penalty. Michael Smith, he took it quite well. But at this point, I mean, at half time, I knew it was over. We're not going to score three goals in one half, are we? No, it was never going to happen. I mean, even a draw today, I still would have booed it because a draw is just not good enough. You know, it's Burton Albion, for Christ's sake. We're Sheffield Wednesday. We're supposed to be pushing for automatic promotion. And we can't be a team that's, you know, down in the bottom half of the league. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, if we had got a draw, I feel like I'm kind of happy with, with, with getting a loss because if we had got a draw, there would have been some people like proper trying to, you know, uh, shake it off like, oh, we did well to get back into the game. It was terrible today. Even if we got a draw, terrible. You know, we should be winning this game. Uh, we can't drop points in a game like this. And, you know, we've gone and lost it today so everyone can see the severity of the situation. And... Um, you know, those players need to look at themselves because we need to pattern ourselves up before the playoffs or we're not going to win them. Um, but yeah, uh, that's been it for me, guys. Uh, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Also, hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload. But that's been it for me. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.